All right, y'all. Welcome back to the Roads Less Traveled. Today, I'm gonna try my hand at building the Z fish trap. All right, guys. So I've been wanting to build a one of these fish traps for a while now. Uh, <clears throat> I finally just went ahead and bought the stuff to do it. I'm gonna give it give it a try today. So what I have here, uh, this is let's see, it's it's 24 inches wide by by 25 foot long, and it's a half by a half. Um, wire mesh. I bought this off Amazon and the links will be below. I've also got zip ties. I'm going to use these for securing everything. I'm going to be cutting it with some tin snips and some just regular uh, die cutters here. So I've actually went in on Google SketchUp and I've designed this trap myself to try to get an idea for dimensions everything and then how I want to cut my pieces. So the main trap itself, the way I've designed it, is actually going to be, we're going to need to cut four pieces out of this mesh. And it should all go together. The trap's going to be 24 inches by 24 inches um, wide and it's going to be six inches tall or deep. Um, so we're going to need to cut two pieces of mesh that are 24 by 24 for tops and bottoms and then two pieces that are going to make up the the sides and the part that comes in to make the funnel. Those side pieces are going to be 12 inches by 63 inches. I'm going to kind of throw up uh, my Google SketchUp here model. Hopefully that will work. Let's go ahead and get this opened up here. Alright, so I'm actually going to take this out in the yard and I'm going to unroll it and cut it out there make it a little easier and then we'll come back in here to the table and uh, finish putting it together all right so my first piece is going to be 24 inches long and this mesh is 24 inches wide so that's going to make it a perfect square there's one We'll get another 24 inch section. It's probably a good time to mention he's probably wearing gloves for this. It's kind of sharp. All right, the next thing I need to do is I need a piece that's 63 inches long and then we'll cut it in half lengthwise so we have two 63 by 12 inch pieces for the sides. I'll go ahead and add here. Yeah, it's probably a good idea to get some bricks or something heavy to weigh this mesh down when you're cutting it because it's kind of a, a pain. It wants to roll up on itself. Alright, now I'm going to cut this 63 inch piece in half long ways so we get our two uh, 63 by 12 inch pieces for our sides. Alright, we got our pieces cut, I'm going to turn the camera back around and uh, we'll see if we can get this thing put together. Do as I say, not as I do, wear gloves. Alright y'all, so what I've got here is I've just got one of my tops or bottoms, whichever you want to say it, and I have one side for right now. We're going to work on that and then we'll do the other side and finally put a top on it. I'm going to go ahead and add here I'm not planning on putting in like a uh, a bait holder container at this time. So if it's something you want to do, you might want to incorporate incorporate that into the trap before you put your top on it and seal it. That way it's just easier to get to. <clears throat> so I'm going to start by um, just taking one corner of this trap and doing the long straight side first. So what I want to do. Just take me a zip tie here 
and I just want to zip tie this corner together. You can pick any corner you want just to get a good starting point. You know, make sure it's as square as possible. Run it through there and we'll zip it up. And I'm going to do all my corners first and then we'll come back and we'll uh, and then do the intricate parts of like the actual funnel part and the center of the long side. I want to just try to lay it out as flat as I can. Just kind of get it straight. Figure out where you need it on your, your second corner. And then go ahead and Zip that one up right there. So your your one side is going to be straight. So you're going to want to you know just keep it as straight as possible. Now your other side is where you're going to incorporate your funnel. So you're going to go ahead and tie off the corner, and you're going to leave all this excess out here. We're going to all this excess over here. We're going to take and fold that in and morph it into our funnel here in a second. But for right now, I just want to go ahead and straighten this out and zip tie the corner. It's looking kind of funky now, but it'll make sense once we get it together a little more, I hope. Try to make this thing lay flat. I'm gonna go ahead and put me a zip tie in the middle of my straight side to kind of hold everything in place. It's probably a good time to say I've never actually done this, guys. I just uh, kind of drew it out on Google there and decided to go for it. So take that for what it's worth. And maybe you can learn from my mistakes. Now then, you should be able to fold this up. And then we're going to just kind of bring it in here like this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to make a crease or a fold down this corner here where we have this bend. That way it makes that 90 degree angle. So I'm going to try to just pick out where it needs to be along the side there. And I'm just going to crease it all the way up, fall on that same seam. Want to be about a 90 degree corner. That right there. Alrighty. This right here is going to kind of fold in on itself. Like that. Okay. So now that we've got our corner made, we've got one side done. Now we need to figure out where we need our bends in this uh, funnel side. So starting from that one corner, I want to come in four inches and then put a zip tie, and that's going to be the, the start of our funnel. <clears throat> well, guys, I wasn't recording for a while, but basically what I've done is I went ahead and took this uh, long side piece. I started working on my funnel. So I've got a four-inch side here, and then I made a crease and zip tied that corner. And this side here, six inches, or six inches here. I made a crease, and I zip tied that corner. Then I tried to make as close to 90 degree angles as I could. Just kind of, you can just kind of follow the the lines in your grid here. And then I creased it, and I zip tied this corner. Um, and if you notice, I haven't actually made my cuts in the funnel yet for the fish to get in. That's going to be the last thing I do. Uh, I'm just kind of wanting to get the thing together first, and then I can come back in here, a pair of snippers, and cut out that opening. So I want my funnel to be about one inch wide, I think. So I'm just going to kind of measure an inch there. It's about 
there and then I'm just going to crease it down like so and a lot of this one inch piece is I'm going to come back and cut that out and that's for the fish to enter okay now I'm going to go ahead and put a zip tie on the left side of my funnel So that's actually looking pretty good. So you can see here, I've got one half of my Z trap pretty much done. I'll go ahead and put my other funnel side in, and then put a top on it, and then uh, then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right, y'all. So I moved outside. Uh, I can see a little better, and nice breeze blowing. It's a little windy out here, so hopefully you can hear me all right. So I've got the trap pretty much finished up. Um, the only thing left to do is put the top on it. This is the point that if you were going to build in a bait uh, holder, you would do that now before you seal off the top. Uh, I've already went through and trimmed most of my zip tie tag ends just because they're easier to get to now. I've got a few more to do. So I'm going to go ahead and put my top piece on, get everything the way I like it, and then I'll finish zip tying it. And then I'll check back with you again. All right, y'all, so it's pretty much finished now. Got all my zip ties on it. Uh, one thing I am gonna do is go around and bend all those uh, things that are kind of sticking up on the edges there. I'm gonna bend those all down and back around the itself. So that way that kind of helps hold it together. And then the only other thing I gotta do is come in here and cut out my uh, entrance in my funnels. And then we'll put a door in it. So I'm gonna go over real good, bend back all the, uh, the little stickers so that helps hold it together. And maybe put a few more zip ties on it. And then um, we'll come back and cut a door into it and open up our funnels. Okay, now that I've got it pretty well shored up, um, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna cut out the, the ends for my funnel. I'm just gonna kinda take Oh, two to three squares wide along the length and I'm going to leave a bar somewhere in the middle that way the, the funnel can't be forced open wider um, I'm just thinking that might provide a little bit more structural integrity so I'm going to get in here make those cuts and then we'll see what it looks like alright so I don't know if you're really going to be able to see that or not um, but in the back of this funnel here I've cut two holes and left just a little narrow gap or bar in between to kind of keep it uh, from being able to spread apart a whole lot so the fish will swim right in here or right through that hole and they can't get out so I'm gonna turn around do the same thing on the other side and then we'll put a door in it all right y'all so the last step I got my door on here if you can see that or not I just cut out a square scrap piece of this mesh and then cut a square just a little bit smaller than that and then I use uh, three zip ties for hinges on the closing side I'll either wire it shut every time or I might get a bungee cord you know and just hook and come around so that way it holds the door shut um, that's pretty much it for building the trap the next thing we'll take and get some bait in this thing get it out and uh, see if we can catch something I think it's probably gonna work you know, Y'all stay tuned in the next part of this video and let's see if we can catch some bait. Alright y'all, so I got this uh, Z trap we built out here on my local small river. I'm in a little slack water spot that I usually catch that I usually catch brim. I'm gonna throw it out and hopefully we can catch some live bait for running some limb lines for some catfish. I wanted to show you this. I noticed uh, I mentioned that I didn't actually put a bait uh, container in this trap, so I wanted to come up with some way that I could just throw some bait in there and pull it out, and uh, without actually being built in the trap. So this is what I have for now. This is just a small Gatorade bottle. I drilled a bunch of holes in it. I put I don't know a, an inch of rocks in the bottom to make it heavy, so hopefully it'll sink down the bottom of the trap. And then I filled it the rest of the way with uh, dried dog food. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but it's 
better than just throwing a bunch of dry dog food in there and letting it, you know, break apart and flood away and, and escape the trap. So, I'm just going to take and drop that in there. I'll get my door sealed back up. We're going to get this thing thrown out, then I'll come back and check it here in a little while. Toss it out right here. The uh, moment of truth on this bait trap. It's been out for about two and a half hours. I'd like to leave it longer, but I want to go catfishing. So I'm gonna pull it up, check, see if we got anything. If not, I'll probably move it somewhere else. So let's take take a check. There's a few in there. That'll uh, not, a, not as many as I was hoping. That'll help though. I'm gonna pull them out, get them in my bucket, and then get it back out so we can kick, kick, try to catch some more. That right there is the size we're catching so far. There's only four of them in there. I'm gonna. Get it back out again. Hopefully there'll be more next time because I really need more than that. I'm going to put it out a little bit deeper this time. Alright. We'll come back and check it here in a little bit and see if we got anything else. Alright. That's a little bit better. All right, y'all, so I pulled this trap up again. It looks like I got, I don't know, 10 to 15 brim in here, and it's only been another 45 minutes to an hour, so um, trap definitely works. It's all about placement, I think, and probably time of day. I'm going to get these bait fish out of here, <clears throat> and I'm going to go catch some catfish. <laughs> 